this guy moaned at least this loud. Oh! Oh, hi there, I didn't see you there. How's it going? Tom Berry Phantom here, and welcome back to Bleach Bro Souls. Let's continue our character casual gameplay then, shall we? Today is Muramasa. So, the setup for Muramasa is uh, Yuki with 40 stam. There's a fuck ton of accessories I need to reroll, but I'm too fucking lazy. Uh, Peel with uh, 30 attack, because why not? Needs to be rerolled for 30 SP. And uh, Captain's Rogue with 30 SP. Uh, strong 16, recharge 11. Strong 18, recharge 10. Recharge 14. Oh! Okay. So what do we got? I didn't properly look at the raids. Yoroichi, very well. Alright, so let's uh... I will try my best to talk and play. You know I struggle to do that. But um... So yeah, yesterday was uh... Well, let's talk about then yesterday then, shall we? So I look back on the videos... On the videos? The video that I did yesterday. And, um, through th a couple of things. First thing was the reaction to Orihime. I didn't look so happy to get her. Believe me, I was happy to get her. It's just that, you know, I kind of was going into that summon selection knowing that I would get her. I saw it fucking coming a mile away. Um, that, that's why I wasn't really that excited to get Orihime. If it came down to... Uh, which one of the three swimsuit characters would you get, or which, 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 would, which one would be the first one you would get, I would, would have said Orihime, and what fucking happened yesterday, it was Orihime. So that's why I wasn't really that enthusiastic or excited to get her. Don't get me wrong, I'm very happy to get her, I'm just saying, not, 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 um, not surprised, not surprised. And my fucking phone turn off, just as I finished talking about that. But I think the next one in the list was a couple of comments. Oh, Tom Berry, how did you go from 800 orbs to 3,200 orbs? Um, it's called buying orbs, people. Cheers. But then again, you're probably your next answer was probably going to be, uh, weren't you going to Japan and saving money? Yes. Yes, you're right. But when I technically looked at it, you know, um, I've paid. And here's, here's a perfect example of why I can't talk and play at the same time, because I'm getting shot by these fucking annoying cunts. When I technically looked at it, I've paid off everything for Japan already. Um, you know, I've paid for the ticket to fly over there and back, I've, played, I've paid for the, uh, the hotel expenses, I've paid for the, the train ticket thingy me bobby, I've, I've paid for everything else, and all it comes down to really is the spending money. Um, and for those that might remember, yesterday I said I have to go to a stock take, and when you do a stock take, that means it's the end of the financial year, and some people might get this, some people not, but you get your tax money back. And I'm getting my tax my tax money back this year, and I'm getting $3,500. So there is $3,500 spending money. So there's my spending money for Japan. Plus more. But, um, no, I looked at it and I thought, you know what? I think I can afford a couple of dollars to buy orbs for the swimsuit. And so I did just that. So yeah, that's that's why I went from 800 to 3200. I bought orbs. But I still have I I, I seriously have a I have as much money as possible for spending money in Japan. But the thing is I'm not going over there to buy fucking souvenirs and whatnot. If I want to get something in Japan, I'll buy it fucking online, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not I'm not going over to Japan to buy souvenirs, I'm going over there to just experience a fucking different country rather than this sh shithole called Australia. <laughs> um, and yeah, I, I will need some money for like, you know, restaurants or places and whatnot. Hopefully it's not, not too much, but I have plenty of money for Japan, so yeah, I decided Let's just fucking buy orbs for this swimsuit. See what happens. And luckily enough, I had like 2,000 orbs um, saved as I got uh, swimsuit surf on yesterday. And those orbs are going to go to the future. And we're looking at third anniversary and um, 
uh, fourth manga characters. So really, it all depends on who these these uh, the last four manga characters are. If they are really good and impressive, we might as well fucking go all out because I mean, let's be honest. Now, what's left for me in the game? Now, what's left for me? But, uh, yeah, what was the next topic? Fucking phones off. Jesus Christ. Oh, stock take. Ha! That's the next thing on the list, so... As I said, doing stock takes are bad. My God. Yet yeah, out of the 10 or 11 years I've worked at that job, I've done several stock takes. That was the worst one I have ever done and ever seen in my entire fucking life. It should not have taken that fucking long. Am I recording? Oh! Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> that stock take last night, mate, should not have taken that long. It was the worst effort I have ever seen in my entire life. It took four and a half fucking hours to do when it should have taken under three. Not impressed. Not impressed. But that just means I get four and a half hours worth of pay for more money for Japan, so, and they better fucking give it to me, because if they don't, I'm going over with a fucking baseball bat and cracking some fucking heads, man. That was the biggest fucking waste of time I have ever, ever done. Mm, it's in my list of one of the biggest wastes of time I've ever had in my life. Seriously. Not impressed. But then I came home, sat down relaxing with a nice iced coffee, opened up Brave Souls and saw a swimsuit siphon. And I was back to normal. <laughs> so, yeah. And speaking of swimsuit siphon, that is the next thing on my list. You're probably expecting a crazy fucking reaction like the past other siphons that I got. I clearly said back when Dark Rukia dropped that if I got Dark Rukia, I would be calm and collected. And while you didn't see me get Dark Rukia on camera, I was pretty, uh... Um, well, I was shocked, to be honest, to get her out of, like, one of the final singles that I did. Um, but I didn't go batshit crazy, and as you can clearly see yesterday, I didn't really go batshit crazy for Soifon, and that's because I didn't want to fucking embarrass myself again. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, watching the, uh, me reacting to getting Halloween Soifon, there's a perfect example of why I don't have a fucking girlfriend. You took that way too fucking serious. Jesus. So I didn't want to fucking lose my temper again, or go ape shit again. So, Mayuri, fuck off. So yeah, that's why I didn't, you know, react big to Soifon. Believe me, inside, oh, I'm so fucking happy, but I'm not, I'm not fucking going batshit crazy again and embarrassing, embarrassing myself again. And if that's what you like to see, awesome, but I still don't like it. <laughs> But yeah, and unfortunately that's all on my list, sadly. Um, but um, I guess I can talk a little bit about the new swimsuit Soifon. Now, I did say that she is pretty much perfect except for being ranged. There is a slight um, problem with her first strong attack, which is her basically just shooting the water gun in a straight line. The area... Um, the hitbox of that is very bad, actually. The hitbox of that is very bad, and it can actually miss some enemies. So I don't like that. I really don't. But everything else seems to be pretty fine. But, uh, yeah. I'll eventually get used to her, so... Just like I did, uh, Halloween Siphon and Time Skip Siphon. You constantly keep playing the characters, you're like, oh, okay, I've got you figured out now. I got... I don't have any problems with you. I'm not sure if that's how other people feel, but that's how I feel. When I constantly keep playing the same character over and over and over, I've got nothing to worry about. I know how you work, so... More Master Hero, for example, I... This is like, I don't know. There's so many characters that I have that I have not really played at all or played very little of, so... Because when it comes down to me playing this game, I'm just here to collect characters. And if there's a character I like to play, then I'll play them. But if not, I guess I would still like them, but I probably wouldn't play them. 
What's a perfect example of a character that I would like to have but probably would never fucking play? Uh... So I can't think of one. So, uh, Miranda Rider, when I used the strong attack with the Vortex, you should have jumped into the Vortex, not jumped over it. So the only character I missed out yesterday was Holly Bell, which I'm completely fucking fine with, even though she is my favourite Esparta. No surprise, I like my females, but as I said to you before, Holly Bell is very, very underwhelming. Why am I- why do I keep looking at the TV? Halliwell is a very underwhelming strong attack damage character on video. You know, I actually haven't playtested her. Maybe I should just playtest her. But anyway, I'm not going back to the swimsuit. I'm completely fine missing her and um, saving my orbs for the future. Yep. Oh, and speaking of Halle Bell, there she is. Holy... Now, that, see, that's what I like to see. Oh, I need heart, too. <laughs> this is what I want to see almost every single fucking time. 12... 12 a run would be just... <laughs> lovely. Oh, that reminds me. I think the Enriched Droplet Zone is coming back tomorrow. I'm going to have to spam the fucking shit out of that. Now that is what I like to see. Twelve. Mmm. If only that happened for Inheritance Zone. Why did I use that when I... Shouldn't have used that. And I don't know if I mentioned this already before, but um, as I clearly said already, I'm sure everybody knows about that. Like, I'm going to Japan, People constantly ask me, are you going to do vlogs and whatnot? I am not vlogging at all. So stop please asking if you're interested in me, in what I'm doing in Japan and the trip and whatnot. Uh, go to my Twitter and follow me on Twitter and I'll be posting pictures of there. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to be taking videos or anything. But it's a, what, 109 days away. So yeah, yes, I'm counting. I'm counting the days, of course. 109 days. Still don't really have any places uh, picked out besides the maid cafe, so um, if there's any place in Tokyo you'd like me to check out, please let me know. Once it... Ah. Every single time. As a, there's a, a perfect example of why I haven't gotten used to Mur Muramasa yet. Raid character, I actually need that four past Mashiro, which I got yesterday. Eight, hey, I'll take eight. How long have we been recording for? Are you serious? Not even 20 minutes and... Oh, wait, yeah, I did I did skip on uh, Mayura in Salaporo, that makes sense. I was just about to say, holy shit, Muramasa's getting the fucking job done. Um, 
I guess I do need heart droplets. Um, yeah, it's come to that point where I don't have anything to say. Oh, besides, look at that ass, man. Seriously. Jesus Christ. Oh, I just thought of, uh, we were talking not too long ago about a character that I would like to have that wouldn't play. I just got one, Suzumibachi. <laughs> Still don't have Suzumibachi, but yeah, I would really like to add her to the collection. Then I can actually say, yeah, my Sofon collection is properly done, but, um, but yeah. Got to be honest with you, as much as I fucking hate the time limit in the Senkai Mon quests, I'm sort of looking forward to it. I'm sort of looking forward to it. Because, I mean, let's be honest, you have, you have, like, you can do it as many times as you want, you know? So if you fuck up, well, you've learned your lesson, try again. I guess that's not too bad, huh? I guess that's not too bad. And I'm more interested to get my hands on that Aizen. That, um... The Aizen that you can buy with the, uh, Senkai Mon medals, because... I don't know if anybody has the information on the stats or whatnot, but I heard that the Soul Trait was, like, Strong Attack Damage 20 and... Damage up at 4 Stamina 20. That would be a really good link for Halloween so far. I just want to see what his Spiritual Pressure is. Because if it's good Spiritual Pressure, then I will place... Frenzy Byakia for him. So I'll probably get the power attribute uh, Aizen first. But we'll see when the time drops, you know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, yeah, it is a four star road. Soifong! I honestly just want to stop doing this now, but it's not even fucking 20 minutes. Uh, I guess we'll do one more. I don't even know what though. Should I just do Soifon again? This guy moaned at least this loud. I think I might test play Hollyball after this. Five? Decent? How about we do a YOLO multi? Fuck that shit.
回戦か。で私に勝てるとでも思ったかそこで永遠に夏を満喫しているはじけとれ涼しい She's okay <laughs> She's okay I've changed my opinion from her to underwhelming to okay She needs accessories and、uh, soul traits on her for me to properly judge. So she's okay.、Um, and on that note, we shall end it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. There's Muramasa. Oh! And there's my lovely Sophon. How about a sneak peek at her stats? That's what I got so far. I told you, that, I told you a while ago that the,、uh, the soul links I have for her were fucking terrible. That's the best I've got. I mean, Ichigo's decent. But.、Um, The other two, yeah, they need a bit of an improvement. And I need to re roll, where is it? Actually, I need to, well, yes, re roll that, but at least、uh, replace that with the captain's coat with 30 attack on it. But anyway, thank you again. I'll see you again tomorrow for another character. And、uh, if you have any、uh, questions for me or you would like to talk to me, Twitter, please. Not down below in the YouTube comments, Twitter. Link is in the description. And、um, yeah. So,、uh, thank you again. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh!